I literally just came across some foul ass sh I was <laughs> I was in the process of like searching around to see if there's another video I could watch for the uh, My Strange Addiction series and all that BS but I ended up coming across a different TLC series I've heard of it before too that's the funny part it's called Extreme Cheapskakes Extreme Extreme Cheapskakes Cakes Lil Debbie, forget it. There's a video that was posted five years ago. Five years ago, and it has 12 million views. It's called Sharing the Bathtub. Now, I, I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna get into it. I just wanted to watch it, give you my rawest of emotion towards that, cause I feel like somebody's gonna get cursed out. Do not tell me they are sitting here bathing in the same water. Look, I'm gonna just get it started. What the f His ass bathing in chicken broth. So you telling me that that shit's beyond foul. Alright, go find your dad. If I can get something for free, I'd rather do that in. Oh! <laughs> so he just hopped his ass right on in too. So. Uh... <laughs> Bro, they are boiling in chicken broth. Do you see how brown that water- that's whale water, that's sewerage water, that's two years our water been cut off and this is all we got. Get used to it, water. My family and I are so cheap that we all share one tub of water a day. Oh, a day. Okay, that makes it a better. That, ma that makes it a lot better. Not really. Bitch, I don't know what that is. If your water bill that high, join a gym. Take free showers at the gym. Use your membership wisely. I don't know. You see how he just dumps it on his head? Like, this is this is normal for them. To be bathing in that brown ass, dirty ass, wrinkly ass, old stale water, spoiled ass water. We don't have cooties. We're never that dirty. It just makes sense to use the same water. <laughs> your cootie level was on 12 How, you it, it doesn't make sense to use the same water and two like it, it's crazy cuz hold on just quick side note I barely even take baths to begin with now before you lose your marbles I'm I'm bathing <laughs> never walking out the house smelling like oops but I'm just saying typically when you sit in the bathtub and you're dirty you know everyone gets dirty duh you form a ring around the tub of your filth so if you getting up and your daddy getting in just throw the entire family away I don't care my wife is always working at trying to save money and shrink our budget. I just can't believe this is allowed. Like I'm, I'm, would y'all do that? Comment down below. Would you, would you? <laughs> I can't even see it with a straight face. She's gross. How do you guys feel about sharing bath water? Just let me know. That's all I was gonna say. My husband will take a bath, then I do, then Bob, then Ronnie, and it saves us a lot of money. Sometimes I actually do want to take my own shower here and there. Can't really do much because my parents like to save water. And I feel so damn bad for that poor boy. Yo, he probably going to school and they just talking. And since his family on this TV show, they really talking. Might as well homeschool him at this point because you won't catch me coming out. Jason, I heard you take the same bath. Okay, I'm sorry. Who the fuck are you? Like, you can see it on his face. He's sad. He pressed about it. Do they actually smell nice? I don't know. And I don't want to know. That water looked like... Ugh. Think about how much water a, a, a bathtub uses. I bet there's probably, what, 20, 25 gallons? Four of us, that's 100 gallons a day. Fuck the math. I'm talking about sanitation. Y'all foul. Did, did nobody, y'all foul. How many comments did this get? It's got 22,000 comments. We're never that dirty. First person to go in the bath and the water's already brown. <laughs> My point has been said. Blessed. Ration our shampoo and body wash. I just pour. That much in there. Oh, that's enough for a month. We run out. <laughs> what? And in 30 days, she did her ass whooped. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Oh my gosh. I love how it was legitimately an accident. She she poured it into a teacup and said, <laughs> Oops, that's enough for a month. After four days, y'all just gonna be smelly. Smelly. Y'all see the episode of SpongeBob where the Tattletail Strangler like lifted up his hands like, Woo! And then the hose just was on a whole another planet. I can't with this, bro. By rationing her family's use of soap and shampoo, Melody manages to keep bottles for over six months. In fact, she's found a way to save on almost all of their household supplies. 
I don't buy toilet paper. I use newspapers that we get free in town. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know they booty holes scraped. Like, I don't understand it. Everyone's gonna have their opinion. That's okay. I can't be mad at you. That's your family. That's your morals. That's your life. But when it comes to just proper sanitation, if, if, if you can't afford that, I don't know. Again, join the gym, take a shower there. Like, there's other alternatives you could do. Go use their bathroom, steal their toilet paper, do something. But for you to just, that ain't my mama. I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I don't get no Take that one sheet. You don't need more than that. You crumple it up. You use it, and then you put it, when you get done, into this bag. And when this bag's full, we take it out and burn it. And then, so you saying you chitting next to a, a bag full of boo boo? Like you, it's it's the it's the same thing. It didn't change. Okay, so that was actually it. That was a real short video. Let me see what else there is, cause I that's a little too short for me. The, the next one, sharing showers. <laughs> What's the point, y'all? Go outside and soak in the rain. I'm not. I can't do it. When we do our showers together, it's strictly two minutes. There's no hanky-panky at all. A two-for-one type deal. We just get in and out so that we can serve our energy, our money. Okay, got it. Two-minute showers, no hinky-dinkies. I don't know what that refers to. Either y'all can't touch each other or no goofing off. How? There's not even enough room to do that. You standing in a shower under somebody. Uh, like... Do the math, like... And 33-year-old Rick Perrin's extreme bathroom routine saves them hundreds of dollars each year on water, electricity, and toiletries. Like, I get I get the entire purpose. Don't think I'm just throwing out all these jokes because, like, I'm reckless or I just, like, I, again, I don't care. I'm just saying, if you're doing, if you're going this out of your way just to save X amount of money for something, just... It, Use better alternatives. I don't know what they are. Find them out. But also in the same breath, this is hilarious. So I, it's not my family. It, I can't like I, I can't have my say in it. Although this is YouTube, so I'm talking. Hopefully y'all enjoying the video so far. But I don't know. It's just it could it could definitely be more to it. So ooh, I just am almost passed out. Rick uses the suds from my hair on his hair. Thank you. So that it's like two for one on the shampoo. One bottle of shampoo lasts us like eight months between the both of us. Yeah, we have a minute left. We actually share the razor. Uh, first, she'll shave under her armpits, and I'll actually shave my face. But what about shaving down there? How, how does that work? Because I'm damn sure not putting it back on my face. It's not, no, no. After a while, this will get dull. We actually sharpen it by rubbing it up and down on the denim jeans. It'll last several months instead of just, you know, a couple of weeks. We probably save like $200 at least in razors because one packet of razors is like $25. I agree with that and I accept that. But still the fact that just both of you are just all of your genitalia on, on one razor is just too much. For my re remedial brain to like comprehend, I can't like, y'all, I need some water, hold on. It was an ice cube in there, my fault. Time's up. By keeping the joint speed shower to just two minutes, the parents have sliced their monthly water bills in half. So they've applied this frugal strategy to each and every bathroom ritual. They tag teaming in that shower. It's getting to the point where it's like, <laughs> it's a race to see who gets cleaned first. For cotton swabs, Chris will use one end, and then when she's done, I'll use the other. Y'all even sharing the Q-tips? Once it goes in the ear, you could keep it. I don't care how much I love you, it's not happening. I'm not that close with you. It's n no. <sighs> I'm getting a headache. With the deodorant, we actually share that too, and we're only allowed one wipe per armpit, and so when we do that, it can serve deodorant. We share our toothbrush, so we Okay, wait, 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 wait! So y'all, y'all share. Y'all slap one side, and then they get the other, and, the, and then y'all share the toothbrush too. <laughs> so... <clears throat> come on, come on, stop. Very interesting observation. Um, here, I'm actually gonna jot that down for future reference. <laughs> We're so cheap that we share our tooth floss. The tooth floss too? Like, you guys have to be on the same page as me. Why? Hang on. I think that's quite gross, actually. Oh, sound effects. I don't care how many teeth it goes through that sound. Actually, I think uh, it's floss. It's probably 99 cents. 
I don't need, I just, okay, that's it for today. I just wanted to share those because originally I had something else planned, but this came about. And it's honestly, to say the least, it's pretty interesting. I don't know, a uh, pretty interesting lifestyle. I'm, I'm thankful and blessed enough to, you know, have the essentials I have and be able to have my own deodorant and toothpaste. There's no way to add this up fair and fair. It's just too much. So I'm not even gonna sit here and just like soften it. It is what it is. Y'all saw it. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed me because I don't know about them. That <laughs> if you guys want to see more videos from me, make sure to drop a like. It really helps the channel out a lot and shows me that you guys are interested in more content from me. Also, if you're new, be sure to subscribe. I don't know about milestones. Nobody really subscribes no more, but I'm here, so. And I'll appreciate it if you do. And turn on post notifications, because YouTube's still been kind of BSing around that. I don't know why. It's so damn stupid. But you know what it is. If you like the channel, subscribe. Hit me up. I appreciate all of you. And until my next video, <clears throat> peace.